Greetings, Commander. How is it going? Uh, Sunday stream incoming. Yeah. I'm starting to enjoy these uh, weekly Sunday streams. So what's been going on in this playthrough? Well, I did get a bit of time to put a, a few hours in the multiplayer playthrough a little bit. Uh, a few things have happened. We now have a new heavy mech, but it's not done yet. Nice it down here in the hole. I was able to salvage this fellow here. Oh, and by the way, thank you, Iboric and David, for the YouTube stuff. It is important. So I did salvage this war dog here, which is a very interesting mech. However, it is not finished. It's a project that is not finished. Now, this guy has arm-mounted accuracy and gauss mastery, which is interesting. And right now, it is pretty well equipped, but I don't have ammo for him. He's like, uh, almost ready. So he has a heavy gauss to take advantage of the weapon accuracy gauss. An ER PPC and a laser rifle in, his, in the hand to use the hand accuracy. So I gave him a TSM to uh, improve, uh, mostly just to improve the maximum carrying capacity. So that I could give him a one-handed handheld weapon. Uh, so that I could use his plus one arm accuracy. Because you only have a hard point in one arm. So this way you would have a weapon in each hand. As well as a bunch of medium laser as a bonus. As soon as we can get some heavy gauss ammo. Or maybe a regular gauss that I don't have either. This our first heavy will uh, come online. But uh, as you can see uh, he's probably going to be a bit of a monster. I'm looking forward to uh, see how uh, the stability damage functions. Which may lead to uh, using a different gyro then. If I'm reading this correctly, 48 stability damage. And this is only 40 stability. Does that mean uh, you're going to be unstable when you fire? Possibly. Uh, but all the gyro that I have are just 40 stability. So we'll see when we come there. We're going to get there. Very well, so that's uh, our project. We do have a new fellow in the Conjurer. This one I was able to get uh, off camera. It's a pretty not bad. We have a large pulse, we have some MMLs and an ultralight rotary rifle for some goodness with an arc. This could be a very interesting mech as well. I have yet to test that one. Well, this is uh, grumpy. This is what uh, this mech came with. This war dog came with the heavy gauss. So I haven't changed it yet, but I don't have ammo for it. This war dog has accurate Gauss mastery and accuracy as a uh, affinity, so it could be a thing. Good evening, good evening, sir. Indeed. So, what should it be first? Oh, but before we get into that, let's take a look at the online map and see what has what's been happening. Quite a few things, I say. I mean, Clan Wolf has been busy. Clan Wolf has now come all the way down here, which, you know, capturing these jump point is very time consuming. I've done that before. It can take a quite a while. So Clan Wolf is now reached the inner sphere. That's awesome. Comstar has uh, also doing, done the reverse course, and Comstar is now all the way up here fighting the clans. Jeez, you guys have been busy. Wow. So Comstar has now done all of that and is now up in the cluster there. Wow. Okay. 
That is a lot of fighting. Well, uh, uh, when it comes for us, I, I am down here and I'm still in the process of just uh, grabbing clan uh, equipment as much as I can. Because this playthrough, uh, this career is not strong enough to participate in the online war yet. I'm uh, doing my best, but I'm been a wee bit busy and I'm with that in the uh, normal YouTube. I'll try to get it up to par this week. Here, what shall we do? Quite a few options. We are now worth uh, three and a half this uh, career, so we're starting to get some more difficult mission. A three and a half against the Fed Sun assassination would probably be interesting. We're getting up to four and a half in terms of difficulty. Should we? Should we push the envelope and go four and a half against for an escort? What do you think? Should we push to four and a half or be more uh, realistic? Hello, Ron and Fal. What do you guys think? Should I go for the four skull or something a wee bit more realistic? Three and a half, three, or we go to four. What's the worst that could happen? Quite a few. I've said that phrase quite often. <laughs> Very well then. What's the worst that could happen? So we're gonna do an escort. I'm, uh, I'm attempting this one because uh, uh, as an escort, they're gonna have alternative target to just us. And pirate could be reasonable. Or, you know, just destroy us with uh, 100 rocket contraptions. Who knows? Let's have a look. So this is the regular crew that we have. I don't have enough room yet for the conjurer. But I'm working on that. Apollo, Kentaro, the dervish lightbringer. The laser shotgun. Our fire starter here is an Omni Mech, the Omni version, the one with is the one with a wee bit of machine gun to deal with battle armor. We are worth three skulls. This should be interesting. At least when under dropping, when you drop uh, value, when your lance rating is worth less than the mission. You have a lot less, lot less chances of uh, support lances. Underdropping is a tactic that I've used often on the online map, so that when I have an important mission, to make sure I don't have support lance and can do it quickly to underdrop. Yeah, you indeed do. Run. One and a half pirate. I only fear that when we get into the four and a half, five, that we start to get the bomber veto and then somebody's gonna die. It's just how it is. Last mission, first mission of last stream, we got down to two units left alive out of. Six or seven? It was a bloodbath. Maybe I'll get allies. Under dropping gives you more chance of allies as well. That's true. That in a 3.5. <laughs> Don't curse me with Seth, Grumpy, please. Stealth Bomber with 0 0.9 hit chance. And the mother of all bomb. Yeah, that would do it.
All right, well, we're going in for four and a half. That should be interesting. Hopefully, whatever we are escorting has some firepower that can make a huge difference. If we're escorting some powerful stuff that has weapon, it makes a huge difference compared to a little transport with 200 armor. <laughs> and the blessing of prayer that's online. nice Centers online weapons online both need little veto below four well this is not below four this is four and a half command interface initiated okay uh, rally point do we have blocking units we do okay uh rally capture I can land close enough here. That would do it. Not a lot of cover in this area, though. Why? Okay. Not much choice. Let's go straight close. There's little Vitals, uh, the Fujin, that I can be really. Even if they're uh, considered a, a smaller one. Right, blocking force. We have an assassin. But that's the Omni assassin. That's actually a dangerous unit. A light thunderbolt carrier. Okay. A vedette. That's not too bad. A hellhound. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> Let's indeed kick some butt. Hopefully. Maybe. No to be determined. Rogue tech is a way to make you humble from time to time, you know. What is it already? Okay, bushwhacker. We're gonna go around here. Let's roll. And separate our group a little bit. By. We're gonna try to be in the forest that, for the beginning. Gain some damage reduction. Double time. Let's go. Now, priority target will. Definitely be this guy. Standing by. Throttle down. Oh, we did get some allies. You were right on that one. They are over on the left side. All right, the carrier didn't move too far, so I'm hoping that its evasion is not going to be that great. Quick look at allies. They are far, they are far away, however. Dervish, trash, uh, trench bucket, buzzard, brawler. And those are decent allies, but they're pretty far. Waiting for orders. Very well. Now let's start with the striker. Let's go Happy tank on tank action. And unleash the dead fire. It's a good start. <laughs> I've seen that in my previous playthrough, by the way. Ooh, plasma and held plasma. Okay. Armor breach. Internal damage. A pirate Fafnir with dual. Rack 20 pirate on a uh, three and a half. Yeah, I did get that. All right, so the assassin, the Omni assassin is the one with uh, the uber stealth. He's going to be a bit difficult to take down. For now, we'll, we'll concentrate on uh, getting rid of the vulnerable vehicle. If we can take it down before it fires, that would be great. So, Apollo, Apollo, you do have minimum distance, so this should be fine. Confirmed. Okay. Hostile removed. Uh, well, 15, and that's still me. Alright, sure. This guy is going to be very hard to hit. 
Uh, let's concentrate on the other vehicle, which we have some reasonable hit chances. Roger. Just like that. Yes. All right, well, Bushy, it appears that it was... Uh, maybe I was going to say something stupid, because I got an I'm angle on you. It's going to be ridiculously bad. Mimitech armor, no sensor. Yeah. Oh, well. Guns on target. Active camouflage destroyed. Crippled them, Commander. Hmm. Yeah, that faff with the Rack 20, it obliterated, uh, what, what, what did we have, a, a lamb Irby. Yeah, that was funny. It was the end of our lamb. Twelve is a Hellhound. A Hellhound pirate. Ballistic energy missile. Goes for our tank. Minimal damage on that hit. Hmm, seven. Okay, said tank. I was not able to take it down. What does the quick sell three vedette has? About to find out. Nothing apparently. All right. Yes, Commander. Marvelous. So I hit this poor fellow in the back. Uh, the rest of the hit chances are going to be horrible, I fear. I don't have anybody with sensor lock yet to counter these things. But now we're just going to take pot shots. Uh, can you? Yes, you can. Striker will attempt to add to the back damage. Something. Yes, boss. Oh, uh, the Kintaro. You go after this fellow. Heavy explosive or standard? Let's go standard. We're okay for now, but that assassin is nasty. We had a very good hit in the back, though. Speaking of assassin, what will you do? Okay. Could have been worse. Internal damage. You're an elite pilot. Come on, do your move. Ace pilot. Yes, Commander. Alright, but now he came closer, which I am quite surprised. Now I can actually do more back shots. Enjoy, buddy. That was not the greatest move ever. If I may say so. Alright, so Rivadet is still alive. Will you attack this turn? You're moving away. Well, okay. Receiving you. Very well. Uh, let's go after the Hellhound then. The Hellhound has some clan stuff. Really? Streak, 2 ER large. What do you want? Since when does a pirate Hellhound have full of clan stuff? Let's roll. Guns on target. The 3080 map can be surprising. You cannot take for granted that pirates are gonna have crappy stuff. Luckily, you didn't do much. Allies is uh, still trying to get closer. I guess. Waiting for order. Oi, sir. We have some good shots from Let's here. Uh, do I try to take out the tank? 
Yes, I do, because his sight is almost open. Roger that. Structure exposed. Hello, Black Mercy. I am indeed live. I try to... I try. I cannot guarantee it, depending on schedule, to, to uh, stream every Sunday now. Let's go. Firing on target. Upper leg, uh, foot destroyed. Critical hit. I'm here. Can I keep hammering the same side? Yeah. There we go. Cool shot explosion. Reporting critical hit. The panic. Nice. We may have some good stuff right there. Receiving you. Striker, if I give you standard, can you? Roger. You can try. Okay. Score. Critical hit. Hey, your ally is getting a shot. Ready I think that is their first official attack. No shooting, just running. Got it. Only twelve percent, but I'm taking it anyway. For uh, crit seeking. And the vehicle destroyed. Beautiful. What is it already? Alright, so first part of our four and a half On my way, is Commander. manageable. Thankfully we didn't get uh the port lines. Let's do a bit of a walking simulator. Uh we are already near capture zone. Now I genuinely hope that we're gonna have some competent Escort T, not just 200 armor transport. Hopefully. Maybe. What do we got? We have... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Those actually look like tanks. Sleep near AP, PPC, APC, pardon me. Uh, tanker with fluid gun, bleh. Goblin, that's reasonable. Okay, well, at least, if not a lot of power, these guys do have armor. Roger. And, uh, oh, hello. Vespa, Irby. Ooh, that looks like a... Is that a stealth one? That looks like stealth. If that's a Fujin, I'm in trouble. And the last uh, enemy over there is a Mad Cat 3 RX. Huh. A Mad Cat 3, that's the 50 tonner. And an RX, I have no idea what that is. Alright, we're going to play the reserve game now. Let them act. Right now they have spawn protection anyway, so... Let them make the first move. Anyone know what this uh, Mad Cat 3 RX means? Okay. That was indeed a rocket chopper. It fired at the R-12 evasion tanks uh, that was under spawn protection. So we actually dodged the bullet there, or dodged the rocket. For the right opportunity. And you are firing on the ally with a hit? Okay, so the ally were useful. At least it is a punching bag. Yes, Commander. Alright, so that Irby didn't move much and would possibly be a good target, so we're gonna start moving. See if we can hit the, the rocket one. Very low hit chance, but we're gonna do it anyway. Eh. I have no idea, Jim, uh, what the, uh, the hell is that Mad Cat Pirate. Micropulse and Street 2. Okay.
Huh, Herbie is getting hit. I will take that. Uh, I'm gonna stay out of the forest, not to have the forest hitting penalty. The uh, These guys have a accuracy against uh, Vito. There we go. Solid connection on that one. Micro pulse, pair of street six. That is a good that is a good one. But it's fifty-five. Okay. So allies are being useful. Ready for order. Striker, can you consider me there? Have a chance to hit? Not much, but it was enough. You got. Target eliminated. Rocket Vespa gone. Yes. Okay. Uh, Bushy, you don't have oh, anything in range. Oh, you got a hit on the sleep near. Yeah, that's that's quite a few. Okay, you went in with a big gun. It is a Fujin. It is a goddamn Fujin. Okay. Stealth VTOL with one big gun. Yup, yup, yup. Right, sure, the Mad Cat and the Fujin came out to play. I doubt I'll be able... Yeah, there you go. That's what I was fearing. 1.9. Woo! -hoo. What about the cat? The cat... Not really better, but... Hey, we got a headshot. Society arrows, uh, the arrow five, yeah, the arrow five, man. Arrow five is the shit. If you can get your hands on them. <laughs> yeah, zero point five chance incoming. Yep, 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 yep. It's gonna be one of those. 1.2! 1. Engaging target. We're gonna put our vehicle, our escorty vehicle as bait. The only way to truly get that veto is if uh, it doesn't move next turn. Or doesn't move much. Otherwise, it's gonna be a lot of 0 0.9. Our pilots is not are not experienced to have enough to have sensor lock. Is there any society gear available on the online map right now? I, I think it's not the correct era. Full throttle. Engaging target. I've always wanted to do try and do in Arrow Five. Uh, an arrow five headhunter. Try to do headshots with arrow five. Never quite managed to get the proper gear to do that. On the move. Striker, why don't you go into introduce yourself to the Irby? You. Any of the vehicle that sensor lock? No, those are just basic uh, pilots. Would be great though. Would it be great if the escort T that you sometimes have could get skills? Oh, AMS. I'm gonna. What well, the 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 allies have the Irby, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, play the reserve game, because our only chance to hit that thing. As if it doesn't move too much next turn. It has too much evasion for us to hit it right now. 
So we're gonna play the reserve until 9. Cross our finger, it doesn't move too much. Use our vehicle as target bait. Hope for the best. That's what I got. Yeah, the arrow 5 is very accurate direct fire arrow. It does over uh, over a hundred damage pinpoint. So, why not? You could outfit something heavy or an assault mech with twin arrow five and all the headshot gear and battle computer in the world and go for it. I mean, that sounds funny to me. And it's one of those builds that I was never able to do. Arrow fives are exceedingly rare. Even when society is uh, present as an enemy. Hey, no more Irby. All right, one more reserve. Let's uh, cross fingers and toes that the. Pujing doesn't move too much. We're gonna have to eat its payload. Or at least one of our escort T. Stack full gold? Yeah, that would be great. Uh, it, yeah, okay. 100 damage. Warning. Armor low. And uh, the sleep near is not looking great. Oh, that is a 100 damage shot. This thing has an AC-20. That's even worse. But, hopefully it did not move too much. And now I have 15% hit chance. Yeah! We're gonna try and play who can hit the VTOL. Maybe from the back we're gonna get a wee bit better. We have 6.5. This is better than the 1.9 we had last turn. No damage detected. This is the hard part. We're going into 4.5, 4 and more. It is a lot to, to do with those VTOLs. Yes. Yeah, the irony when I was playing Burak a lot is that the my own faction was the only one dropping society and I could not get it myself. On my way, Commander. Guns on target. We got 22 damage. Fun fact, you can circumvent the direct fire max range on RTV Rectif, put it in flak mode at ground target. Huh. I've kind of given up on our artillery, to be honest. Reading you. Alright, let's move. Let's fire on the cat. Micro laser array. Ooh. Micro pulse laser array. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of that. Hey, we get a 25. I mean, we've opened it up. We've been lucky in our clustering, though. Standing by. Kind of have a chance. Kintaro, do your best. Heavy explosive, maybe? Target locked in. Ooh, that was good. Let's go. Let's go. A ghoul topper? Yeah. Yes, commander. That is a very good one. Move into position. And the paladin last season. Fire 
that worked out pretty good. I'm here. Without artillery, I really don't know if I'll be able to engage in uh, the super heavy as I used to. If they were my main, uh, my main thing. Also, the uh, Typhoon ammo with the ELRM has been restricted. Let's move. 0 0.9 and 50. Sure, 50. One more part for my nuclear paladin. Yeah, that would be the shit. But now, uh, ammo for nuclear can disappear. But, wait a minute. In the new patch 1.22, ammo for... Ah, oh, really? I'm losing weapon systems. Fuck. Okay. What is it already? In motion, Commander. Guns on target. Finally, okay. Mech destroyed. Uh, not Typhoon, uh, Typhon, pardon me, that's my... The Acid LRM. Uh, one of my best tools was the ELRM, Extended Range LRM, with the uh, Typhon Acid Ammo. That was my uh, best tool against uh, Super Heavies. But uh, it, the usage, ELRM can no longer use Specialty Ammo. That's what I was about to say before uh, this guy blew off the arm of uh, our poor dude over there. Because vehicle ammo, because vehicle repair themselves magically, perhaps Roger. the ammo bin of nuclear in vehicles would uh, not be subject to problem. But that's a huge maybe. So all on the mad cat now. Let's uh, try and finish him off. So what did I lose? I lost twin LRM 15 clan. That's not fun. Commander. Well, you let me know, Panzer. Because right now, with the way the um, uh, the disappear disappearing ammo on the nukes is Moving just uh, not very interesting for me. Docking on target. Goblin. Two Pegasus. Uh, well, the two Pegasus is on the Stackpole playthrough, however. I uh, don't have a Quicksell Pegasus here. To be honest, the Quicksell Pegasus is almost too good. Alright, let's try and get rid of this guy before he can fire again. Let's actually use Offensive Push, not because I need it, but because I want to stop him from firing again. Making sure he goes down. Yeah. Uh, using focus fire will reduce his initiative. That I may take it down, hopefully, before it fires. That should make my life a little bit easier. Crank it up. We have a nuclear mob a long time. We need to fire a few, yeah? You need to test it out. Ready for orders. Right now, according to the new patch, you would have a 30% chance of losing your nuclear weapon every time you fire it. Okay, so lots of uh, micro pulse array destroyed. 
And his initiative is now free. Uh, can I get a side shot with you? I can. This could potentially be over if I hit you right here. I'm assuming you're in XL. You're not. You're not in XL. What do you want? Well, at least most of your Moving. weapons are now gone, so... Let's go with a slug and uh, add the 100 damage to it. I got a beat on him. Uh, use the sleep near. All weapons. And there we go. A kill by the sleep near. Very good. Dude, we did lose uh, one arm and a wee bit of weapon on this. But it could have been a lot worse uh, with the uh, stealth veto. Could have been a lot worse. It could have been battle armor. Let's do this. Plan XL? Yeah, that makes sense. I did run a Mad Cat 3 last playthrough, I think. Okay, so now we're just gonna do the walking simulator. We're gonna get everybody as close as possible. Now the uh, fire starter is gonna stay behind. Alright, so the end of the map is here, so the enemies are most likely coming from this side, if I'm not mistaken. Moving out. Our allies could be more useful in that situation. Here. Alright, let's prep them up to get into the zone next turn. You can use battle armor, but to be honest, I have not tried it a lot. I it's uh, the the action economy for a player using battle armor is slightly different because uh, you need to mount them, unmount them. I don't know if it's worth it. Holy crap! They just appeared. They magically appeared behind us. Because of course they did. Hold this position until the package is underway. Okay. Uh, Bola Stell tank. <laughs> I d really dislike when they appear behind me. Okay, uh, sir. Um, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to move away. And you know, not present my back. Crap. Apollo, stay here. Salamander putting a casual three to four hundred eight into a mech. Ouch! Right now on this playthrough, it's been the constable. The constable has one shotted every mech that managed to swarm, without exception. It's only three out of three was a one shot kill with by constable. So far, we I even had. Uh, on the last stream, a constable that had uh, only motion, one Commander. out of uh, one out of four or five battle armor left, and it still one shot at a mech. All right, sir. So enemies, we have a few. The stealth tank is by far the worst. Uh, Pegasus is not too bad. Hetzer, it's not a big deal. And light laser carrier, that's not a big deal either. It's gonna be the bowl out of the trouble. If I could make a suggestion, it would be that appearing, spawning enemies can have a limit of uh, how close they can be to you. Like, uh, that would be great. One. See, because now they just appeared there, but they have spawn protection. If I try to fire at it, it's going to be abysmal hit chances. Because they have a lot of evasion. Target move 12. They have 12 evasion. 
spawning protection. Sir, my shorts are very limited. Uh, which my only choice is to wait for them to fire on me. Holding. The chance to get another Pegasus? Yeah, that's true. Other tanks have been insanely fast. I found. <laughs> now I've had comment on the stackpole playthrough that some uh, armor can uh, mount vehicles and fire while without dismounting well that could be interesting I mean if I could put the battle armor on the Pegasus and it would be if it could be able to fire without dismounting. Now, now we would be talking. That would double the firepower of the Pegasus and be ridiculous. That's that's what I want to try. Rate over tanks. Yeah, they were more common before. They're really dangerous. Yes. All right, so let's keep uh, playing the reserve game and uh, hope that uh, we don't die. That's about the gist of it. However, this Pegasus here did not move. What's up, boss? Sir, can I assume that I have a hit chance on you now? I do. Okay. Let's start to act then. If there's no AMS, this should go through. Nice. So be can fire for some from some vehicle now. Ready for How do you know which one? Is it in the description? How can you know which vehicle you can fire from? Go Got it. Let's gotta double check if they have firing ports. Alrighty then. Good to go. Can you give me a quick uh, rundown of uh, what kind of vehicle you are, you are using? Because you're doing a battle armor and vehicle run, uh, Solstrom. So you would know. Two Rogue Tech stream? Well, yes, because this uh, the live stream is on the online map. And I wanted to keep it separate. In the Stackpole Crew stream, it is the single player version when there is the flare ups. The interesting flare ups that I'm going to be doing a lot this season. Uh, but these two are the. Uh, and this will be an online map. Ow! There you go. My internals are taking a beating. So all the bad ones are firing port, all the good heavy armored ones, just let them ride. Okay. It's a blurb in the, descri in the description. Okay. Yes, Commander. Alright, so Firestarter took a hit. Uh, I'm sure I'm... I'm sure the Bola stealth tank is just gonna destroy something. That's, that's what they do. Okay, so you had rockets. That's how you hurt her. Okay, so now the part I was dreading. Okay, not yet. This is the pirate Hetzer. Got still hurt a lot. So how much do you bet that he's going to hit boat? Of his quick sell weapon or, or pirate weapon, pardon me. Who's betting on two of them? Okay, one. Damage is minor, Commander. Right, sure. We're still alive, but the uh Oh, you guys need to stay there. Okay. So typically I would say reserve uh, your escortee so that they're not targeted with zero evasion. But uh, right now, I'm going to do the opposite. 
firing with the goblin without moving is gonna give him zero evasion. And hopefully that will tempt the bullet tank. Stabilizing. Engaging and far not firing on us. Yeah, that's the ally. Cool. And that's the one I'm dreading. Nice, Jim. The Orion 2 she The mascot of the last season. What are you doing? You... Uh, fire the Lightbringer? I did not see that coming. Of all the potential target... People that were have less evasion and damage, you went for the Lightbringer. I'm not gonna complain, but this one's weird to me. Sir, goddamn cell tank 38, 50, 89. No retreat. Uh, the plasma railgun, yes. I was never able yes. to salvage it. I've been wanting one of those for a while. I fought, I fought it once. I got a beat on him. How the hell did you miss all that? I fought it once, but uh, it got destroyed in the fighting. Sleep nearer, do your best. Engaging target. No damage detected. The helical is the other one I was not able to salvage. You're just making me jealous now. Yeah, the Orion and Rogue Tech has been my go-to guy in the heavy phase for forever. The sniper quirk is just too damn useful. You can grab an Orion and you can give it almost 45 tons of weapon space. Confirmed. It's insane. Only a dire wolf can get more weapon space than a than a freaking Orion. The objective is secured, Commander. Kick the Emperor crab to death. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Commander. Okay, so uh let's uh try to go strategically. Which would mean trying to eliminate those vehicles before they fire. Well, let's go for you first, because your initiative is 14. If I can take you down... Not quite. Before you fire, then move to the initiative 12. I believe that would be a good strategy. What do we got? Dead fire, come on. Gotcha, okay. Uh, Ultra 10 and MRMs, yeah, that'll do. What do you want? Moving. All right, Bushy, can you hit that bastard if I can plug in a slug of 100 damage somewhere? Guns on target. Do I don't. Beat on him. Punch out now? Why would I want to do that? Well, Panther, you're already very deep into the super heavy phase. How much hours did you put in this season already? Uh, so sadly, I was not able to take down the Bola. Oh boy, the Bushwhacker whiffed completely out of his weapon. What, what is machine gun? I don't know what is his energy weapon. Ah! Hyper laser. 100 damage. There you go. Bastard. 
stealth tanks. Ah! At least it hit the center torso and did not go through the armor. Anything else would have been instant broken. Okay, well, now you have acted this turn, sir. Let's try and get rid of you before you act. Almost. Serket, a Leviathan, a Black Rose. Jeez, you, you got everything. All right, so Dice Media, I could get to the Evac Zone. You're right, I could do that. However, going to the Evac Zone while being shot in the back is uh, not recommended. Typically, just fighting gives you less damage than actually going to the evac Not zone. Most of the time. There's exceptions, but most of the time. Nuisha. Nice. I don't think I'll... I, uh, we'll see uh, how far I go into the Super Heavy. A99. Wow. Alright. He got through his stuff. I do miss my monster of a Serket with uh, 150 LRM. That thing was a monster. C3 Slave, Active Probe, those bolas are stacked. I'm out of long -range missiles. Stealth, Hyper Laser, everything. Okay, we got it. That's a kill. Well boys, we got our first four and a half. This is the highest rated mission we've done in this playthrough so far. We did lose uh, some weapon on the arms, but could have been a lot worse. Mission successful. How's the black how's the uh mortar on a black rose going? Black rose doesn't even have railgun affinity? How is that working out? When you find Clyde, uh, Ghost Bear, the this comes out with a Helicat wheel gun. Okay. Thank you, Sol. The Dire Wolf with all the mortar is indeed quite a classic. Now that the mortars are working a wee bit better, I'm definitely going to do that. Several of them, if I can, really. All right, so Dervish, you survived the hyper laser to the center torso. That could have been bad. Uh, we lost an arm here and two weapons. Okay. Was the only thing with ballistic hardpoint? If you can get the um, uh, the the 125 ton Jager mech. These things have all the hard points, ballistic hard points, and I believe uh, mortars will be considered ballistic and would uh, get the affinities. Uh, retractable blade, sensor range, heat sink. I refuse. Sir Bola, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We could get a full Bola. There's Fuji, the Fujin as well. It was a, a high velocity autocannon 20 on that thing. Wow. That's nasty. 100 damage on a stealth VTOL. That is a fuck a you, Fujin. Okay. Night Carrier. I'm not that interested in the Hellhounds. Let's just get a quick look at what it has inside. Well, the clan XL engine is uh, salvageable. Uh, 
the mad cat is salvageable. Ooh. The street twos are, are on it. It has a Nova uh, CEW. Hmm. Has some battle computer and a Mark II and a Hendo Steel. Well, that's tempting. That is tempting. But what else is out there? I can salvage the high velocity 20. That has. Oh boy. Tempting. That's tempting. That's 100 damage at reasonable range. Almost twice the range of a regular AC-20. Optimal 360. That's... That's a thing. Optics. Ooh, NSS. I have to take that. I have to take that. That is my favorite stealth. Ooh, I have to. I have to. I just have to. I love the stealth that is not mimetic, so that I can still move with it. And NSS, null signature system, is the best one for that. One D eight heat sink. I can stack Nova, yeah, because Nova is its own uh, C3 network. So it is would be a viable endgame tactics to have your main crew uh, all equipped with Nova. It would get, it would just do everything, and uh, you won't have to worry too much about it. So I'm gonna take that and that. I think that's my choice. In excellent stealth armor and uh, this guy with all the goodies. I may not actually b rebuild you, I'm not sure. But either way, uh, all the goodies and size are worth it. That's the choice. Continue. So in last stream, uh, I mean, there was a lot of question about uh, electronic warfare. I did get a nice uh, guide that I put the link on the last stream. I'll put it on this one again. The guide to electronic warfare was really, really interesting read. Even for a rogue tech veteran like me, uh, there's a lot of things that were unclear on the warfare system, on the electronic warfare. I use Nova as one heavy to assault crew to abuse size Delta. Yeah, that's why I intend to do on this playthrough, or I intend to use, abuse the size Delta as much as possible. I mean, I really dislike this feature. I really dislike the size Delta. I've been vocal about it. But if you can't remove it, I might as well embrace it and abuse it. <laughs> ECM black magic voodoo. Yeah, that's how I feel about it often. I'll po uh, I'll post uh, the, the link to the guide on this stream as well. It's actually a good read. All right, Comstar took Megaris from Torian Kokordat. Delphi is fighting the Ghost Bear. Outworld is fighting Kurita. Steiner is fighting Kurita. Uh, Ghost Bear is fighting Davion. Clan Wolf got Tibber, okay. Casty is fighting Clan Cloud Cobra. All right. That mech you wanted is back online. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one uh, with by Mig. That's what I'm re referring to. It's really good. But even if you do all your stuff good, the the AI cheats. It. When you get to the elite pilot zone, they just cheat. It's worth doing a C3 system for yourself, but don't expect 
the AI to care about your stealth or your ECM. At least uh, in the end game. All right, now we have to repair our poor fire starter who lost an arm. I hope I have what it takes to repair it. Also going to take a look at this fellow to see if it is worth rebuilding it or not. The cheats, yeah. Those uh, Street 2 are intriguing. It's a, a per missile that it works. Alright, Micro Pulse Laser Array. Oh, this is good against Battle Armor. Oh, that's great. 10 accuracy against Battle Armor. Plus 200 damage against Battle Armor. Oh, that is awesome. Optimal range of 90, however. You need to get into Swarm range to actually use them. Small advanced cockpit. Cool. Fire control MK2. Should I rebuild this guy or not? Hmm. Battle armor on turn. And it's nice for backstabby too. This is a pretty good mech as it is. I'm sad that some of it got destroyed actually. But it's not an Omni. I would have to find an engine and all that. It does come equipped with the Radical Heatsink kit. If I press repair, what does it look like? Let's uh, try it for shit and giggles. Damn, that is a good mech. No wonder it broke stuff. It has the Radical Heatsink kit inside the mech. That's sweet. Well, let's see how much it would cost. Uh, do I even have an engine that you were equipped with a 330? Closest I have is a 300. That still gives you 85. That is tremendous. So rebuilding you is 2.3 million in cost. The endo seal and the ferro fibers is part of the mech. Wow. That thing is sweet. All right. So these weapons are short range. And they are good for battle armor. If we rebuild you as is, I will at least need Optics MK3. At least some long-range weapons so that you can participate before you get closer. Uh, RD still has a use. The AR tries to avoid the circle. So a good strategy would be to have a really crappy artillery, like a single thumper, single thumper just to play with the uh, uh try to, to use it with crowd control all right so you have tracking we have one evasion ignore with this another evasion ignore with tracking Dang. an additional evasion ignore with this weapon and plus one accuracy i like this thing so the streak two requires clan ammo, okay. Just one bin of ammo would give me ten shots. It would be enough. MC3 is quite similar to Stormcrow, I agree. It might actually be better in some terms because you can change the engine and give it more weapons. Stormcrow, they have a fixed, uh, very heavy engine, which is their only my opinion down the, the problem hey <laughs> can i 
<laughs> well, eight stability damage to self per shot. We do it by piloting and using tonnage. Oh, I don't have ballistic. Never mind. Would have been too funny. Okay, sir, what you have is energy. And I need at least one long range thingy that you can. Uh, I do have a micro pulse laser array. Tom Crow fix 330, yeah. Which is exactly the engine it had. So, yeah, it does make it very close. I see what you mean. Hmm. Sure. So I know this looks bad in terms of heat, but the reality is that you're not going to be firing those micro lasers often, only when you get into sh into short range. And that large pulse would give me a long range option that has more evasion ignore in all of that. Or I could just stack more missile. It's valid. Hmm. I have an idea. What if I give you two light PPC? These guys, because they have a minimum range, we can just shut them off when we use these. And uh, they do have evasion ignore as well. And it would give me a reasonable little long range punch. I do have this. Uh, it doesn't have uh, doesn't have machine gun hard points. Or might as well go broke and go for that. Sell. It has the uh, the uh, the mech it comes with the ferro fibers. I don't think I can put the stealth over it. All right. Good do. Air defense and die air. Do I have weapons that have entire air capability? Not really. Or maybe I should stop carrying and make him a full short range brawler. Stop trying to wrangle you and just give you short range stuff all the way. Small pulse. That has battle armor stuff. There you go. Max armor. There you go. Still 11 ton left. Do I have enough? I have two left. That gives you a punch at long range. Arrow 4 flak mode, yeah. It's a weird one. I'm not sure which to what to give you. I'm not sure what to give you because of the short range battle armor profile. I'm kind of stuck.
I just give you more streaks. That would make you a fantastic short range brawler. You would need at least one more streak ammo, which I don't have. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm going to table him for now because I have no idea what to put in this guy. I'm going to put you on ice. Either that or we simply abandon the short range battle armor and we redo him completely. That's another possibility. I sadly don't have twin LRM 15. Replace it. That's another one where I'm not sure what to do. I think I have some streak that I can give you. There you go. Max armor. Um, we're still in the kitchen sink for building mechs. I don't have a, that much uh, weapon system, so we're still in the kitchen sink, whatever fits category. All right, let's fix that up and go to another one. The tag would have been a good idea. You're right. What should be? I think an assassination would be good. The Fed Sons, they sometimes have good stuff. Would really love to get some Gauss to put in our war dog. Yeah, the evasion ignore stuff is later on. That's for sure. The current Ar Argo up upgrade ongoing is the library, which is going to give us. Uh, bit of tech point and a bit of med medical points. Supercharger on the, the Mad Cat 3. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or I can simply try to find a bigger engine. Make him even faster. And cram him full of uh, micro pulse and say go nuts. Which is probably a good yeah I mean, it had a 330 before if we can go something like a 360 in it it's gonna zip around at maybe 10 print that could be a good one Nice Panther, that's that's wow. Ground fifty pirate engine, supercharger, hot seat, three ton nitro. Yeah, that'll do it. If you can cram a four hundred uh X four hundred engine into a um, a black knight with supercharger. Watch it go, it's funny. It'd 
be honest, that's what I miss the most about the size delta, new evasion system and all that. The ability to just build a fast moving, heavy or light, light assault, like an 80 or 85 tonner and have crank up the evasion and be really hard to hit fast cavalry unit. Command interface initiated. I miss that. I miss that the most. A proper uh, 80 tonner, like uh, something like a Whammer 2C. Make it go really fast and be hard to hit. I miss that very much. Alright, so Ambusher. Ambusher? Or, okay, this uh, Davian Force here, and War Criminal there. Ooh, options are limited. I mean, if I drop here, I'm gonna be surrounded easily. Can I drop in the back? Yes, I can. Uh, my choices are very limited, and this is going to be it. Many tons of nitro to the RNG god, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Blitz target with the Pegasus and hit them with the Mad Dog. Uh, I don't have a Mad Dog yet on this playthrough. Mad Dog is, would be very nice. I would really like to have a Mad Dog right now. Oh, hello! How are you guys doing? Sentinel, Clint, Was, Shadowhawk, with Wart. Hornet. Wait, none of these are too bad, but that's a lot. Waiting for orders. Roger, Skipper. Kicking it. Yes. 80 ton Salamander Mech. Probably the best missile assault. Ooh. 80 is a good number right now because uh, if you're firing on a 100 tonner, you're gonna have size delta. I mean, honestly, the butter zone, I believe right now to uh, uh, exploit size delta is 75 to 85. If I could get my hands on a lot of the uh, Shinigami, the uh, 85 ton stalker with built in AR 14 and chameleon armor, that would be my choice. Mad Dog would be very nice. Mad Dog is a 60 tonner clan mech. I would absolutely love one of these. It would make a huge difference. Alright, so I'm going to play the reserve game. Because uh, I want them to move toward us. Not the other way around. So I can take... Uh, so I can come out of my little hidey hole here. And target one. Everybody jump on somebody. Holding for tactical advantage. Up at Outworlds, okay. Shinigami is one of the best mech in the game. It has a sniper quirk, it has AR-14, it has a Chameleon LPS, and it comes with the mech. It has everything. That and the 75, 70 ton uh, catapults, this C7 the, or the L7. They also have AR-14, Chameleon, on the 70-ton bolt. Exactly, Souls. Okay, sure. Uh, this guy... That's a Sentinel, is not a priority target. However... I would be... by. Be keeping on this side, I would not be targeted by everyone next turn, so let's do that. Let's pounce on the Sentinel. Receiving you. Okay, so you don't have a direct shot, so just do your best. Do I have a sensor bot that I can scout? Sort of. 
And I'm gonna use it right now. I'm gonna launch a UAV. There you go. Sensor bot. Uh, salamander. What's kind of, what's the quirks of the salamander? How's it going? I don't think I had the uh, pleasure of using it this uh, yet. That mech. Target locked in. Target taking a critical hit. Standing by. Full speed. No target. So it's pretty low hit chance, but I'm hoping that through volume of fire, we can take down this this guy before next turn. Eventually. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. So, what kind of weapons do you use to uh, for it to be this accurate? Uh, Artemis, regular. Do you pair it up with the uh, battle computers or predator fire control system? What's your uh, what's your choice? What's your poison? Oh, it has lower arm. Yeah, that does help. Hey there. That does help. All right, I believe I can send my tank up On here. Fire at this poor little fellow. God damn, let's do this. Clan Artemis and Battle Computer. Okay. Ooh, lots of pulse. Oh, am I shooting rockets? Not really. I'm shooting long range fire. Uh, 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 but this thing does have rockets if I would like to use them. Maybe I will. Fire. All weapons committed. Short range missiles depleted. Get like 65 hit chance against 16 evasion VTOL. Yeah. Last, se last season, I made a circuit that could fire 150 LRM per, per turn. Want? Had enough ammo for 14 or 15 alpha. And could hit something at, in at indirect for uh, almost 100% accuracy all the time. It was a monster. Uh, sir, Shadowhawk. Nice numbers. Enjoy. But you, of course, missed the slug. Commander. Uh, fire starter. Ten four. Hey, nice angle on this guy as well. Let's crank it up. Well, there you go. I need a new target. This is going well. What is the war criminal exactly? It is this fellow and it's a little Vulcan. Ugh. Standing by. Okay, uh, so I only have direct fire on those, but do I hit the minimum range? I don't. Good to go. Uh, I got a Acknowledge. shot on the Clint. Let's go heavy explosive. Scored a critical hit. Uh, upper recoil isn't that plus one? Hmm, that Flint is having a hard time. So that mission looks 
a wee bit easier than the previous one. So striker, uh, I want you to gain some evasion, so I'm going to move you. Even if that means firing indirectly, it might still be enough to get a leg. Ah, you counted upper and lowers together. Yeah. Now, one thing I loved to do in the online map was to play the um, play the odds to have at least amount of uh, support lance as possible. Like, for example, if you're playing with um, kill teams, kill teams only appear at uh, 16 difficulty. So if you um, if you try to drop on mission that are in 14, 15. You should still get a lot of reputation without uh, with getting maximum one support lance. And one trick that is important to be able to maintain that is to have a few mechs that are very inexpensive. So it is important to sometimes build what is it uh, mechs, uh, primitive mechs into a, something powerful because they don't count as much Guns on target. worth value for example one of the best take that one master. of the best mech to use in the online map is the uh, primitive crab the zero one because it has lower arms and you can stack accuracy like that ready for orders Uh, link to screenshot. I don't know. Why don't you try it? I uh, don't think I've pushed any restriction, but I also don't know how that thing works. Hornet. Vulcan. Timmy. No, Tim's. Okay. So, Timmy, what do you got? Doesn't look impressive. I'm showing minor damage. Receiving you. All right, so we have a bit of a walking simulator just to uh, get in range of these fellows. We have this little mountain here in between us. A hell spawn. Okay. Some mortar. Oh, the hell spawn. Yes, okay, man. sure. More indirect shenanigans for now. It's going to be very low hit chances and all that. Which port is the best? Okay, cool. I think you can put the link in the comment of the video itself, not in the chat, though. I have to look into that, the chat restriction. I don't know if it's options that I can turn on and off. What do you want? Apollo! Just a bit of walking around. That's the part that I sometimes dislike. The just moving from one point A to point B while waiting for the AI to act. Alright, Sir Timmy just showed up. We're gonna try and hit him. Roger. Attacking from the side. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. What's your name on the uh, Discord, uh, Panther? Quick stepping it. Oh. 
why pagan? I'm not sure what kind of question I'm supposed to be answering in that one. I'm showing minor damage. What's up, boss? I got a on the move. Full speed. nice shot on you. On. Unleash the pew. Inflicted some heavy Been damage. really enjoying the Lightbringer. It's a very nice name for the shotgun laser, and it works pretty well. Pantograph, same name? Okay, perfect. Let's do this. Kintaro, why don't you stand and shoot? Oh, it's only the tag. Eh, ER. Target acquired. Think I hit something good. Our target is making a break for it. Break for it. I have a feeling that you won't make it. I have a small feeling. Got it. Run, don't shoot. Uh do I have an angle somewhere? Thought I saw a line. There you go. Copy that, Commander. Firing. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. I think this fellow is regretting his life choices. <laughs> Points. UAV sighting. Oh, hello, Lan. How are you doing? Commander. I'm just gonna stand and shoot. Enjoy, buddy. The bringer of light. Hostile removed. The UAV is a very useful tool. Yes, boss. You can just send that to scout for you. Not too shabby. Receiving you. Confirmed. Not too shabby indeed. Alright, so uh, there's going to be a lot of bad hit chances in terms of indirect. It's going to be a bit of a yes. patient simulator until we can get the eyes on them. Got to get over this mountain, which means bad terrain here or over there. I don't know which is great, but I don't think the AI is going to come to us. We're going to have to. Uh, we're going to have to uh, go to them. I am if I am allied up no I am not to be honest it's um don't have as much time to put on this playthrough with all the other YouTube stuff and my job it's a, it's a bit hard I've put on a few hours uh, off camera in between the week but it takes really long time to build the online career up to snuff and allied as I'm sure you know Especially when you go on to uh, eight, eight parts for Mac and slow X pay for a uh, pilot. <laughs> uh, it would be uh, would be weird. Uh, more than 50 if you do go for um, maximum uh, map influence, which means more parts per mech, slower experience gain for pilots. So uh, it can go, it can be more than 50. Standing by.
Yes, Commander. Oh, but that's fine if they shoot down the UAV. That is quite fine. Engaging target. Well, yeah, of course, Land. But maybe I just have a high standard of uh, if I'm allying and starting to do something, it's because I'm ready for it. Let's roll. There is a bit of and there is a lot of luck indeed. Roger that. I've been up to snuff in 50 or less, but you know, lots of things have changed in the uh, lots of things have changed in the game since our time. All the strategy I use in season one are have been nerfed. Not one, nor two, not two of them. All of them. <laughs> I'm a nerf magnet. I mean, if you watch my video and I find something that works, chances are it's going to be get nerfed in the next few months. Yes. Guns on Tuck! Oh, come beat on. on him! It is quite possible. I've been contemplating of just uh, being a merc if I. for, for the. Playing Merc because for for a live uh, for a live something uh, presentation like this, uh, being a mercenary and doing different things every week could be a uh, good content instead of being with a faction. Because if I'm with a faction and I would be showing live what that faction is doing, it would not be great for their strategy, you know. System holding. Plus, to be honest. If I show up in a faction, I have a feeling uh, quite a few people will show up just to fight me. It's not going to help that faction that much. Nice hit. I think I hit something good. Standing by. How's it going? Confirmed. Commander? All right. Finally, we made it over the hump. Let's start firing over here. Destroy the PPC. Take that. <laughs> Waiting for orders. Well, you know, back in our online days, we, I, I was spending almost all of my time. It was during COVID, the first season, and I was spending almost all of my time just playing Rogue Tech. It is not That's something I can do right now, especially with uh, both the YouTube and other stuff. <laughs> that would be the day. <laughs> yes. In motion, Commander. Guns on target. I don't think I've hit with the slug once, you damn bushwalker. All right, now we have some good hit chances. Now oh, we're starting Let's to get go. it done. Scored a critical hit. Let's 
Well, the result against Gumstar did work. But when, when all the ex Gumstar decided to now fight for Davion, I was not having a good time. I was uh, losing that one until friends came to help me. And I do have Gumstar PTSD. Absolutely. And I'm not even kidding. Six unit per lance at three. What there was three support lands at the time, so it was 30 enemy every mission. Target eliminated. Standing by. Confirm. Mech warrior, show them what you got. Target's taking a critical hit. It is indeed what do you just want? pain. Your pain. On my way, Commander. Guns on target. Standing by. Rolling. I mean, I, I sometimes get question about the nuclear weapons. Uh, that's when I was. In the fighting Gumstar back in the day, the only way to even the odds was with nuclear weapon. Double time. When they got nerfed a lot, uh, it was uh, over what the six unit per lance is not not just dangerous, but it makes mission so much longer waiting for the AI to do its thing. The only way to cut through the bullshit was to use nukes. The minus two lands difference actually makes it worse, Lan. It makes it worse. Because it means that uh, it's going to be more lighter assets. And lighter assets, because they have more movement, the AI takes more time to, uh, to use them. So it makes it worse to have lighter, more lighter assets. It's not the difficulty of having six units per lands. It's the... Well, when you have you're playing rogue tech with thirty enemies, it's the sheer amount of time you're gonna spend looking at that little uh, moving thing there. So yeah, that's why I started adopting nukes back in the day. It was the only tool that was available to uh, cut down these in a number superiority quickly. Receiving you. Hunkering down. What is it already? They were great. They are not anymore. On my way, Commander. Since the first season that we're talking about, they have been uh, half the power and twice the cost. And now, now if you use them, you have a thirty percent chance of just losing them. So it's really bad. Receiving you. Oh, back shot. Enjoy, buddy. Ooh, that sounds good. Receiving you. Chilly, eh? Confirm. Let's hit him hard. Take that. Let's go. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Yeah, but there's been a the, in the new update 1.22, I think, the the um, the usefulness of uh, nuclear weapon has been severely amplified. I don't think I'll be activating them this season. Okay, we got this one. It was a bit easier. 
We'll see. He was getting to the target that was long. The nuke vehicles are still viable because they're not subject to the 30%. That's what you're telling me. Uh huh. Okay. But you still have to salvage them. Salvaging a nuclear vehicle is even harder than just salvaging a bin of ammo. You actually get have to survive the nuclear strike of that vehicle to salvage it. it makes it even worse. Yeah, it, two million per shot now. It used to be one million per shot, and the uh, they used to be stronger than they are now too. Hell, before we were fighting Lan in the previous version of Rogue Tech, uh, nukes were free. <laughs> when you got them, no, no cost to them. It was really funny. <laughs> Viable, but not easy. It might get fixed, though. Uh, Mortar 8. Sure. E3 slave, sure. Uh, not a lot of good. Oh, mortar acid. Hello. Hello. Just for that, it was worth doing that mission. There you go. Ah, it's true, since you have to wait one or two, one round before it lands, you have some chance of moving out of an you know, incoming nuclear strike. That's true. So that does alleviate a little bit of the pain. I didn't think of that. Uh, half shot, I'm keeping this. Basic. No seal can go. Barrel fibers can go. Ammo LRM, do I really need that? I'll keep it. But Acid Mortar, that is the real prize. Nice. Plus 70% de de damage dealt to armor. Beautiful. Well, now it is, uh, since they've been uh, reduced. But you used to be able to obliterate an entire lance with a nuke. Okay, goodbye. So we, when we were fighting with the three support lance at uh, six units per lance, the first thing I did in any Comstar mission is, all right, that lance, nope, that lance, nope. Okay, better. I didn't. I don't know quite much about how the heat affects. Uh, I haven't used heat much at all. In the last season, when we were elite pilots that were cheating and shrugging off the heat, I uh, just kind of gave up. <laughs> yeah, urban mats is fun. <laughs> You level the entire map in a, a level the entire map, and the funny thing is, when you use them, uh, when you commit war crime and you level a city with a nuke, the game just starts moving faster because they're less acid. <laughs> Ooh, Clan Ghostbear and Davion are going at it. Steiner, Steiner took goat path. Oh no, the Steiners have the goat mead. No! Goat Path has now become a meme of a planet. There's 1500 planet, but Goat Path, that's important. How much as important as Terra?
The assault took 80% or so. That makes sense. That was fast. That was fast. Okay, so engineering. What do we got? We have uh, more repair and refit. Three tech points. Absolutely. Alright, so that went well. Uh, it was that one was a wee bit easy. Let's go for three and a half against pirates. Sure. Yeah, there was an entire entire meme about Goat Path. It became one of the most important planet. Just for the fun of it. Entire things about people retiring there and becoming goat farmer and making mead. The yarn folks people. I mean, I did salvage a nuclear paladin last last playthrough. A paladin is a super heavy tank with twin long tom artillery. That would be funny. How does the planet damage mechanic actually work, uh, Panther? I've seen them know those numbers floating around, but I'm not sure what that means. In terms of artillery, I don't know if you've seen that the Battletech Advance has a different way of doing things. Uh, for the artillery, which is I think is better. The uh, big artillery piece, they do like Rogue Tech. You have to fire and it takes uh, one turn to fire. But the cannons they fire like the old one, the old school one. They just are more, much more short range. So you can still use cannons like we used to, but they're just very short range compared to real one. Reactor online. Yeah, that was the one grumpy. That's why I didn't. Uh, at the end of the day, I didn't use them. But uh, since uh, these guys say that the only viable nukes are now in vehicles, now it would actually work. It reduced the maximum fortification. Okay. Uh huh. So I'm guessing that's why they nerfed the nukes. Because it was actually being used to damage planet and make it easier. Okay, enemy scout lands. Let's uh, I, where I can land is a wee bit limited. Uh, let's uh, stack over here. Let's do the stack of doom. Well, Looks like enemy reinforcements. it does make sense. And in previous season, the over fortification of places like choke points was a bit intense. I mean, there was heavy fighting on well, only one planet because it was a choke point. So that systems uh, would limit that a little bit. A quick draw, a classic quick draw. Very nice. Uh, Vulture, an LBX2, Firestarter, okay. Icarus 2. Hmm. Standing There's by. actually some interesting stuff on the field. 
waiting for orders. On my way, double time. Ah, uh, so most were already badly damaged. Receiving yeah, that makes sense. What do you want? Commander? Gotcha. Okay, so what do we got in here? The vulture. A large cam laser. Alright, so we're gonna stay in our hidey hole and uh, take care of the gunship next turn. I believe that would be... Uh, the quick draw is coming up. Alright, Lance, see you next time. I try to stream uh, every Sunday if I can. Confirmed. If I can make it. Alright, let's uh, take that beautiful angle on the quick draw. It should do a lot of damage. Solid. Quick draws don't have a lot of armor. 2 a.m. Where are you guys? Where are you, Panther, for 2 a.m.? Europe? It's a good six hour difference from uh, from here. So uh, it's gotta be Europe. Germany. Yeah, that makes sense. So Dice, you are on the other direction. You're more out west, west coast. Right now for me, it's uh, 8 p.m. I am stream for about uh, an hour more. Waiting for uh, this mission and maybe another one if we can squeeze it. All right, let's see if I can get some shots on those VTOLs. Not really. Not really. But that's what we got. Yes. Well, Grumpy, I think we are on the same uh, time zone. Let's roll. Guns on target. Oh, nice. Uh, I am indeed. Uh, je suis Québécois pour être plus précis. I'm one of those annoying French Canadian. For the, uh, for the uninitiated. Fire, long fire. On it. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, so what's the other group over there? We have, oh, that's a thunderbolt, a five S. That's a classic. That would be a fine heavy mech to add to our collection. What is a cougar? The Icarus and uh, Talos. Well, that's a France meme, uh, Dice. I am uh, not from France, and that's Let's move. pretty much a meme from World War Two. Solid connection on that one. <laughs> that's a good one, Grumpy. Time to end the quick draws. 
four attempt at fighting. That's it for that one. That is half a dead lance. I would not mind a thunderbolt. That's for sure. Standing by. Nice, eighty-five percent. What are you firing? It's an Ashwang, not a proper Cougar. Okay. Now at 12, it's a poor little fire starter. That is the Omni, the same one that I have. Systems holding. What do you want? Uh, can I land a shot on the warrior? Not really. Let's just uh, keep on hammering the poor fire starter. Current drop limit and weight. Uh, my current drop limit is five mech and three tanks. I only have one tank to fill that slot, however. Buying or salvaging more tanks would be helpful right now. The clan rack, uh, maybe. But that's uh, the pirate version uh, of the cougar, the ass swang. As one, that's probably some pirate crap. Hey there. Like a ultra light rotary rifle or something like that. Let's get this done, team. Reporting critical hits. Ooh. What was that? An trouble. harpoon? Made a crit. Yes, boss. Coordinates received. Uh, let's go heavy. Maybe explosive. Let's get this done. Critical hit, madam. Uh, what's left? Crit, you critted your radical heat sink kit. What are you doing, Talos? Good to go. All right, so the Lightbringer, he has good hit chances on VTOL. Ish. Taking the shot. That was enough. Target eliminated. Commander. I would absolutely love to get into the store and buy a great big tank. That would be uh, that would be awesome. Would really help this playthrough right now. Salvaging tanks is a bit difficult with uh, eight unit, eight points per salvage. What is it already? Pushy, let's see what you got. Let's go on the ice. Let's roll. Uh, 33, 24. Guns on target. Good hit there. Alrighty then, sir. I hope we can get that Thunderbolt though. That would be the shit. Just a scratch, Commander. Reporting minimal damage. That would be the shit. Bottle down. Hot damn. Let's do this. Run, don't shoot. Got it. Receiving you. Well, VTOL for the players is often a death trap. Target locked. No time. It, uh, the AI can do stupid this things with it, but... You know, with, it's often a death trap for players. Commander. On the uh, YouTube playthrough, I've already lost Confirm. two pilots to our Dragon VTOL, for example. Oh. 
hell are you firing, mate? That looks like a pirate rack. Taking damage. That is a pirate rack. Can't take much more of this. Uh huh. Rack two pirates. There you go. Rack two pirates are nasty. And the Aswang actually has a rack five. A proper rack five. Waiting for orders. Okay, sure. Let's get an angle. I believe that Icarus is next. Reporting critical hit. Do I have the crew for it? Yeah, sure. I have a few pilots that we're not using right now in the main crew. Starting to get some experience on those pilots would also be very important. No shooting, just running. Uh, 50 on you, that should do something. Let's go. Let's go. Did it do. The Rack 2 Pirate would be not too shabby a weapon system to have either. Right? What is it already? Apollo, can Let's you roll. hit something? Maybe. Guns on target. Okay. Striker, do your best. Orders. We're in the getting closer to our enemy phase until we can shoot them. This is still the early game, guys, and I still have like five gunnery on every mech, so a long range hit chances are gonna suck. This is actually not too shabby. Go to standard. Firing on target. No we got the tag in, that's gonna help a lot. We got the tag, and now comes the long fire. 64. Reasonable. Pirate Rack 2s are gnarly. Yes. They're gnarly, and they have decent range for the pirate. Let's for roll. Pirate Racks. Alright, that should do something. Got a beat on him. Okay. Now we're gonna get hit by that pirate rack at least one more time. Here it comes. Oh. And some Typhon LRM. Ooh, crap. Taking damage. You're just full of goodies then. You have some acid ammo and a rack too. Need more LRM? Yeah. Need more Typhon. Take a damage. I mean, currently our Ap Apollo is using Inner Sphere stuff. He's using LRM 5 Long Fire. And I could give, give uh, our boy here some acid ammo. That would be the shit. You're an Omni. Interesting. All right, that should do something. I hope you don't break Typhoon ammo. Typhon ammo, pardon me. Yes. Okay, uh, that boy is broken. Uh, now let's see what we got. On my way, Commander. You are a stealth bastard. You're going to be hard to hit. I'm going to use vigilance here so that I don't fall on my ass. And I'm going to target the, gla the on Thunderbolt. Target. There you go. Thunderbolt. Reasonable hit chances. We have size delta on our side. This uh, mission is actually having some great salvage. From the potential rack pirate. Typhon ammo. A thunderbolt. Hello. 
Got something you want done? I copy. Lightbringer! Lightbringer! Accurate as always. There you go. Void system. None, nothing less. You avian ping would have been a good move. You're right. But we got lucky and I think we just destroyed the void system. So I think we're good. Standing by. I think we're good. Rolling. There we go. Boink. All right, well, let's finish off this poor dude. Let's go into close range and use all the machine gun. Let's put that right there. Enjoy. There we go. So, we did break the rack 5, which is a bit sad, but we already have a lot of loot on the table, so it's not too bad. Lightbringer for the win. For a panic. Kintaro is all yours. All right. So this was uh, much better stuff mission that I successful. expected from a simple pirate mission. The uh, 380 map can really be surprising. You can find client stuff and good goodies on pirates now. Really hope I can salvage the Typhon ammo. I mean, imagine getting hit by acid and then firing a pirate rack in your face. That That's going to do the trick. There were a million. Gonna pay the bills. The Kintaro was the killer on that one. He got the Thunderbolt. It's that purple thing. That's the ass wine. It is an Omni Mech. Okay, so that's the Inner Sphere version of Omni Mech. Interesting. That's some good affinity. All right, there's a lot here. The Talos, that's the one we were interested in. Contraband fire control system. What the hell is that? Plus one accuracy with range weapon. One evasion ignore. Plus one recoil and plus ten it. Okay, so that's the pirate. Pretty much the pirate, just a different name. So it's one accuracy and one evasion ignore at the cost of one more recoil and more heat generated. So the Rollery Pirate survived. The Typhoon Ammo survived, but it's only half. I'll take it anyway. It's some prototype. All right, but I'm not interested in the Talos itself, so I'm going to disassemble this. In fact, I'll probably disassemble everything. And here it is. It's only half. That's sadness. I'll take it anyway. Okay. 
Harpoon. The hell is that? Five variable damage. It's 30 damage at only 200 meter, but only six heat. This stabilizes the target's gyro by 15%. 100% critical hit chance. We call it three. We the weapon has a 10% misfire multiplier, recall time multiplier. Okay. Jam chance. That's considered a gauss? So someone got a hand a couple of taser. Uh-huh. Instead of having just let me modify the harpoon with an SRM tandem charge. Okay. So it's designed for destabilizing. Uh, has anyone really managed to do something with that weapon? Alright, that I am sure. Ammo harpoon. Eight harpoon ammo. Okay. We're gonna need this ammo for the rack pirate. We got some rack five precision. That's awesome. Oh, only three choices. <laughs> okay. That's the choice. There's plenty of good choices in that one. Got one piece out of eight <laughs> for the Thunderbolt. Flamers, uh, we're good. Inner Sphere, LRM, we're good. Compact heat sink. I'm gonna keep it in case. We do get a heat sink kit D. That's good. Uh, lower arms. We'll keep them. All right, so we didn't get everything we wanted, but we do get a Rack 2 Pirate. All right. That has a massive recoil of one per shot, which was going to be hard to use in the early game. But if we can line up a shot with that thing, it can do over 200 damage of crit seeking. So, yeah, that's going to help. Yeah, I've never tried using the harpoon. I don't know if it's worth it. There was too much good stuff on the table right now to just pick a weapon for the shit and giggles factor. I am tempted to try in streak LRM build. Because you cannot add Artemis with a fire control system uh, missile, but you can do streaks with fire control uh, missile. So it would be a very good way to stack accuracy. Get streak LRMs with lower arms on the arms with a plus two direct fire missile. It could get some insane accuracy. You hated it? Eh. Way to run. Cold water on my parade. Come star to Quiggy from uh, Torian Concordat. I'm no faction. Davion is fighting the bears. Delphi is fighting Outworld. Kirita and Steiner duking it out. All right. We rarely see Steiner and Kirita duking it out. That's cool.
All right, so I think I'll move to another planet so that we can have a, we can try a clan mission for the next one. So I've been hovering near the ghost bear here just to uh, not taking a uh, rune max one hundred. Uh -huh. so I'm not taking sides here. I'm just uh, trying to salvage clan stuff for this current playthrough. Sixty days. All right, rune max one hundred. So that's the system you were talking about. It can that planet can not cannot go over. Wow, there's seven against six right now. Woo -hoo, with a merc. Kong Pangy present picnic Mirmidon Jack uh, Jack Jays deplorable Dark Rider Iron Hand. Yup, yup. All these but goodies. This front is intense. There's three uh, against five here. That's all the people on, on this fighting fighting here. Rainbow bears. <laughs> Dang, that's right. That's uh, that's intense. Uh, the difficulty is that this in this region it's like thirty days to move to any planet. Devastated. Ruined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a lot of ruined. That's some heavy fighting. Job's done, Commander. Okay, what else can we get? Uh, moving to another planet would take us some time, so let's see if we can find get another one here. Uh, a duel? Can I handle a duel? Against pirates? Maybe. I think the Lightbringer is our stronger, strongest mech. We could uh, try a destroy base. That could be interesting. That is against uh, Planet Eager Government. Let's try a destroy base. We've been having good times against pirates right now. They've been good to us in terms of loot, so let's go for a 627. Hope for the best. Let's go. Let's try and fight. I really want to find some Gauss or some heavy Gauss ammo to put in the war dog. So we'll see how long that uh, mission lasts. It might be the last one for the stream tonight. We've been already been online for two hours and a half. Uh, let's see how that one goes. In my experience, uh, destroy base can go easily or horrible, depending on where you land and the amount of turrets you face. The reinforcements appearing right behind you can also be a factor. Base destruction. That is indeed lower accurate fighting. It's much more organized than when I was participating as well. Which is the, the time sink of doing the online map? Because when you start uh, calibrating and strategizing with a lot of groups of people, it just it can eat away a lot of your time. Smugglers!
So, what will we see this time? Plant stuff, pirate stuff, eclectic crap, disco party boat. What? Let's see. Reactor online, center online, weapon online. Full system nominal. nominal. Very well, let's begin. Interface initiated. Destroy pirate garrison. Okay, okay. I like that map. I like that map. Uh, the reinforcements are often coming from up here. That's why I cannot land up here right now. But I can land right here. Which means I would have a perfect drop next to the buildings from doing that. LEOP, yeah. Alright, so I'm able to drop near the buildings. I love that. Uh, Urban Mech Turrets. That is no Calliope. Light Rotary. More Urbies. RCR. I'm not familiar with that one. Alright. So we were able to drop in a very favorable position. That's going to make things easier. You just had to say it, Grumpy. You just had to say it. Uh, what do we got down here? A sniper. Okay. And that is a hazard. A Hollander. Alright. Moving to position. Waiting for orders. All right. Uh, pardon the camera angle. It's having a bit uh, hard time with the map edge. Roger. Okay, so we're in a very good position, and we're going to exploit our position as much as possible. We're going to try and get these guys without showing our face to the Calliope, for example. What do you want? I think that is very reasonable. Spooky. Sure. What's up, boss? That is a lot of targets, but a lot of that is buildings. Uh... Let's avoid showing our face to the Calliope. I am gonna play the reserve game then. I'm gonna see if that uh, Irby is not gonna come closer and make himself a target. Let's play the reserve game. Let them come into our firing arc without exposing ourselves to the turrets. For example, this Hollander who gets a headshot. Yes, Commander. Now we do have a Hollander Location as target practice. That'll do perfectly. Engaging with Sir 12 is the Irby. The Irby does indeed come into firing range. Alright, so the plan is working. We're gonna try and fight this side and this side only, not showing our face Rolling. to the other dangerous thing out there. We get a perfect shot on that turret. Yeah, we got really lucky on our... Uh, Starting place. Mr. Bjorn, would you kindly Confirmed. fuck up a Hollander? Thank you. Reporting. Critical hit. Standing by. Striker, would you please do the same? Oh, 
All right, panicked and out. Perfect. Yes, Commander. Okay. Let's do this. Kintaro. Copy that. Kintaro. Let's just finish the turret. Firing. One less target. That turret is gone. Yes. Mr. Apollo. In motion, Commander. Get that Irby if you can. Guns on target. That's the Calliope. But Calliope is not that great at indirect. So we're gonna try and stay out of its range. There we go. That Apollo has been really useful. Hmm, you're right. But I think that's a pirate, the Hollander, and I don't think it has Gauss ammo. What are you doing, Arby? The hell are you doing? Ready for orders. Acknowledged. Locked on. So I hit myself a little bit. But... Reporting critical hit. My armor is getting ripped off. What are you? You taking damage? One ballistic. Okay. That Hollander had a handheld yes. rack too, which was really surprising. In motion, Commander. Now I'm gonna hit my own mechs if I fire like this. So uh, let's try to find an alternate target, which could be a building. Enemy structure. And as well start working on them. Uh, fire starter, fire starter. Let's get an angle so I don't fire on my friend. Get in the business. There we go. Target down. Need something, Chief? Yeah, and you're right. It is a heavy Gauss ammo anyway. But uh, for the e, that's a lots of HP for a building. It's Sorry. gonna take a while. But our war dog, I think. That's the name, the war dog. It has Gauss affinity, so it's I would not mind just putting any yeah. Gauss on him to get him get him out there. Good to go. Okay, sure. The Kaleopi has fired for this turn. And it's done. So now I'm actually gonna take the risk and peek out. Start working on the Calliope. There we go. RB is gonna stack pole. That would have been funny. Good to go. On my way. Dead fire. The stack pole crew, we got four out of four stack pole fighting something. That's where the name came from. The odds of that were very low. Commander. Four stack pole, one after the other. Copy All right, let's finish the Calliope before it can fire again. Almost. Solid connection on that one. Yeah, just like that, grumpy. What do you want? In motion, Commander. Why do I have very low hit chance against a turret? Why do you have no sensor, you bastard? Against a turret? Why do I need sensor against a turret? All very good question, I think. Guns on target. Standing by. Quick stepping it. Copy that, Commander. Okay. Target destroyed. 
Uh, heat ammo no longer hits vehicle and structure for extra damage. I did not know, no. But heat has not been very good to me thus far, and I have pretty much gave up on it. Honestly, there's not a lot of things that works now. Commander. Heat doesn't really work. Artillery doesn't really work. New site and sensor rule, yes. But I have not completely mastered it. It's so I only half understand it, to be quite honest. Inflicted some heavy damage. Light damage, Commander. Quick warrior. Ready for orders. Mr. Bjorn. Please bag me a hazard. That Apollo has been really good for us. Really accurate. Waiting for orders. Mr. Morpheum. Let's view this poor fellow to death. Almost. Critical hit, Commander. 100 plus Inferno heat applied in one turn is enough still. Probably, yeah. Micro missile with uh, Inferno is a bit intense. If you can get twin 40 micro missile and then double fire at 160, it well, I'm sure that will still overheat something. I'm there. But these uh, these guys are a bit short range though. It's a dangerous game on, to play people. to go. Short range with heat. Uh, tandem ammo does hit structure instead of turret. Yeah, I do know that. I have not uh, been lucky with uh, enough tandem ammo. But tandem is a good choice for vehicles and turrets. You're absolutely right. MS Inferno is inferior to SRM Inferno because it lacks the heat debuff. Standing by. All right, maybe. On the only heat success I've had like last season was Stop with the, the MMS. But firing 100, 160 of them was enough to overheat some stuff by sheer volume. Moving. Guns on target. Crippled them, Commander. LRM tandem, it's a good idea. And LRM with tandems would probably be very efficient for taking out turrets. It's a good plan. Damage is minor, Commander. Ow. It's a heavy PPC hit. No retreat. Here come. All right, let's finish this fire starter, and then we can all wail on these uh, buildings for a while. They have lots of HP. Two engine crits. He's almost gone. Commander, carrying them both is a good idea. Yeah, that's true. Moving to position. Target locked in. Okay. All right, so these buildings have a shit ton of HP. So there's going to be a lot of uh, demolition yes. simulator in our future. Bringing it down. We got a beat on him. I'm here. Confirmed. Good shot, That's commander. the first one. Enemy structure down. Yeah, improve ATN EMP does. What's shooting me with that goddamn PPC? Let's get this done, folks. Is there a turret that I've missed? Yeah, there is. Heavy PPC and can laser. Okay, okay. I uh, gotta get that thing. Hello there. Ready for 
Yeah, the new site the new site rule is a bit intense. You're I quite agree. Like you need an Excel sheet and a calculator to uh, play this game now. I get a reinforcement as I get closer. But if I'm not mistaken, the reinforcement would come up here. I think we're good for now. Standing by. Roger. Firing. Let's go. Let's go. Target destroyed. What do you want? All right, the one last turret. Might as well get it done. Guns on target. I got a beat on him. A twin AC5 turret. All right. Receiving you. So we have between uh, the turrets and the buildings, we have a lot of things to grind through. <laughs> Managed to get hit by turrets. The shame. The what shame. Moving. Okay. Got a beat on him. Point defense destroyed. Farewell. Now, let's uh, resume the demolition simulator. 800 per building. Wow. Bit intense for a three and a half skull. It make you run out of ammo easily. Oh, it's on now. Ready for orders. On my way. Uh, I'm having the minimum distance. Locking on hard. Let's hit hard. Waiting for orders. Firestarter. Uh, finish this one. Hey Alright, I'm gonna start moving into the base as well to uh, see if we can trigger the reinforcements. We are at the point where they would be welcome. Heavy explosive, go. Confirmed. Okay. Flatten that one. Let's go. Ready to get sure. it on. The demolition simulator continues. Full speed, no target. One thing that is cool about the Dervish is also its uh, extended torso twist. He has more angles than your average mech. What do you want? In motion, Commander. Bringing it down. That one is almost done. Rolling. That ought to do it. Well, yeah, that's overkill, but whatever. Target down. The Yang PPC, yeah. Consider me there. Uh, uh, uh. So, hey, 120 for that. It's time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. All right. Since the mission hasn't ended. That means there is reinforcements that are not triggered yet. And there they are. Or not. There's no reinforcement. That's surprising. Well then. Basically, it feels like this. You have a dice roll to see if it's going to check, and you see if you can sight sensors. And if you make the roll, it checks your distance of the target with your sensors. Yeah. With, and you add the fact that the, uh, the optics has been utterly nerfed as well. That's, that's brutal. It's just another problem for players, pretty much. Just keep adding problems to the player without any solutions. That's what those nerfs are doing. 
Okay, so Kintaro made it out all right. Everyone made it out all right. The Holander. Did it have Gauss ammo? It had an handheld rack too. That's interesting. With some rocket packs. Oh <laughs> no, that's a a very pirate Holander. So no Gauss ammo. We do get the small rotary cam laser, which are murder for backstabbing. This thing can do 90 damage for 1.25 ton. That is seriously stupid. That is seriously stupid. So why don't we salvage that and put it in the the uh, the Mad Cat MK3? Yep, that's what I'm doing. Ammo, LRM clan. That's always very important. But also we got the fire starter. Fire starter. Doesn't have anything interesting, so I won't bother disassembling things that if they don't have anything interesting in them. Oh, I did. you had an engine pirate. That would have been nice. So, I'm gonna need this. I would need more ammo, probably, though. Only have one bin. But yeah, I'm gonna put that on the... Mad Cat MK3. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I will always Artemis. Never have enough. And some MML10. Two of them. That is the choice. Do do. Let's sell. I really, really love that you can sell mech parts from here now. And that you don't have to uh, do the maintenance later. This is so much easier. Medium pulse, I'm going to keep that. Medium X pulse, I'm definitely going to keep that. That I will keep also for battle armor purposes. Rocket, I'm not a fan. Case, I'll keep. 175, that's not big enough. Mask is great. Cooling. Speaking of SRM Inferno. Might as well. This was a good haul. Pirates are surprisingly good loot boxes now. <laughs> Is your name Greer because you're a bad monkey? I have no idea. What is a bad monkey? Can you define that? Can you define that? The pirate AMS? Yeah, it's insanely good as an AMS as well. Miner is fighting Marek. Sure, why not?
<laughs> Again, JS. Wow. That's awesome. You know, you don't have to do that every time. Not that I mind, but wow. That's a good idea, Grumpy. Well, thank you very much, JS. It uh, makes a huge difference. Holy hell. A pig and horde mug. That's an interesting idea. Or would you like a mug or a drinking horn? All right, Kintaro, back very well. Store, what do we got? Inner sphere battle armor, PPC, case, a three forty engine. Interesting. Thank you so much, JS, by the way. You are very, very generous. It's incredible. So I think what I'll do is I'll buy the 340 and uh, perhaps build a uh, Mark III with it. I don't think I'm going to do another mission tonight because we've been streaming for three hours. But perhaps we could uh, finish that RX. A skull mug. That's good, too. So, let's try and build this bad boy, shall we? So we're gonna give you... XL. And a 340. There you go. Your movement will be 9-6. And we're gonna give you... Small rotary cam laser. There we go. That thing can do 90 damage for 1.25 ton. It's insanity. Don't have a lot of ammo for it. But in reality, we're only going to fire it in very short range. I don't think I'm gonna put multi-track anymore because, uh, let's be honest, you're gonna be a short-range backstabber, so multi-track, not much of a thing, but tracking, definitely. Mm. An energy. There you go, we're gonna put energy instead. Please add one long-range PPC. Mm. Well, this is gonna be a backstabber deluxe. I do have one more micro pulse laser array. That's 19 heat, but let's be honest, we're not going to be firing everything all the time, especially with streaks. Oh, okay. welcome, JJ. Welcome to uh, welcome to the uh, membership. That's awesome. Max armor. We have five tons left. What do I do with five tons? This is a radical heatsink D. But do I? Oh, I don't have heatsink plus two or three. Mask and heatsink and call it a day. Mask would be really smart. You're absolutely right. You get in there faster. Mask and supercharger. 
There you go. Let's go. Wee! Mask and supercharger. <laughs> I still have one ton left. Two jump jets. Eh, eh, eh. Or do I just tag you? Electronic countermeasures is a, is a must, but he it, it has his Nova, his Nova uh, C E W S sensor tracker to Predator. Hmm. This is one evasion ignore, two evasion ignore, and one energy accuracy. So I think I'm gonna keep it that way. But you're right, sensor tracker. I just saw it. You're absolutely right. Sensor tracker is for long range. That's a really weird track, really weird sensor to have right there. I almost missed that. Let's just go for improved. I'm gonna overheat, maybe. But you know, a backstabber, you only need to backstab it once, explode it, and move on. The thing is, the radical heatsink kit uh, requires D double heatsink, and they, these boys take a lot of room. I cannot even add one. I would have loved to have internal heatsink that I could have had here, but he has an emergency emergency cooling system already in it. We're gonna trust that. This bad boy is gonna have a lot of potential uh, percentage failure. From the supercharger to the mech to the emergency cooling system. But it's gonna work. So I cannot add another heat sink, which is what I would have loved it to do. So maybe just put a case. A clan case, because I have ferrofibers, which I do not have. I'll just give you a C3 slave then. Probably the day. No, because it has a Nova, right? So, what do I do with you? Thermal mass. You're right. You're absolutely right. Thermal mass it is. I don't have an exchanger, however. Oh, to uh, just to finish him, I guess uh, I'm just gonna give it a tag. I mean, tag does have decent range, so if I'm not in range with the, the my weapons, I can use the tag and just uh, get shit done, get something done while I close range. There you go. This is a bit of a, a weird one, but if I can get in the back of something with this and all of these beautiful micro laser, they have like um, these have a plus 10 accuracy against battle armor. This is going to be my battle armor destroyer. Let's go. I will be fast enough if I uh, by using the supercharger and the mask. He has nine movements. He's gonna go to fourteen, fifteen movement when I activate both. Might just be enough. What does the tag do? It's a support weapon that give uh, accuracy bonus to your friends if you hit with the tag. So it's a good weapon to, uh, well, it's a good weapon for everyone, really. Tag is always, always useful for just one ton support weapon. Yeah, that thing could probably one shot things and delete battle armor. 
That will be very useful. That work order is complete, boss. Top notch. Okay, work let's uh, do one more engineering. Do we increase our drop size, or do we leave it like that? I think we're going to start improving the speed because uh, moving around the map is starting to be costly. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. Yeah, mask plus sub super. He's going to be a fast boy. <laughs> that should be interesting. All right, guys, I think that will be it for tonight. We've been streaming for three hours. That's about the the target that I set. Uh, for streams, maximum three hours. So I'm gonna have to really thank you again, Mr. JS. You are truly the MVP of the stream of the streaming. Buy more tanks is definitely something I'll have to do. Uh, but the stores did not have a tank right now. The difficulty that I have is also that where I am at on the map. Moving uh, between planet is a good 30 days. So it's a bit difficult to, uh, you know, 28 days, 34 days. It's a bit difficult to get to another place and buy tanks. <laughs> the new XCOM video will be tomorrow. So thank you very much. Please uh, do some YouTube stuff. Any buttons will do. Thank you very much, JS. And I will, if uh, everything works out, I will see you next Sunday, probably at 6 p.m. Uh, my Eastern time. Again, I will attempt to get a bit uh, uh, to do a bit of uh, work on that playthrough so that maybe I can get allied and registered for uh, next week. That's the plan. I will try. So thank you very much. It was fun. I do enjoy these streams. I was a bit nervous to start doing streaming, but I'm enjoying it. And I will see you next time. Thank you.